بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو سالر خان یوٹیوب چینل وی ٹو ڈے جسٹ اے مائنر ویڈیو آئی ایم آلسو ان اے لٹل ہری اینڈ دا ٹاپک از آلسو اسمال فسٹ دی ہاف ویو ریکٹیفائر دیٹ وی سو سو آئی ٹک دی ایگزامپل آئی یوز دی 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 آئیڈیل ڈائوڈ لیٹ می سی ایف وی یوز دا پریکٹیکل ڈائوڈ سو سو بیسیکلی ہاف ویو ریکٹیفائر واز واٹ اسائنوسائڈل انپٹ اینڈ دین دس از دا ڈائوڈ and the, the output is taken across this resistor RL with a plus minus polarity V output so in the half in, in the positive half let's say if I consider the polarity if this is my plus this is my minus so if I now have like this plus to minus V input I include the barrier potential plus to minus I include the resistance of the diode as RD as well fine and the output resistor plus to minus V output now if a current flows this is I so a plus to minus drop would occur over here as well yes yes so which means you have uh, if I apply a, a, this KVL VI so minus VB minus I times the resistance of the diode and then this is equal to V output or I say V output is equal to uh, zero minus V output is equal to zero now what can I further do I could further find out the value of current from here right so V I minus V B minus V output divided by RD isn't it like this or have I make a mistake yes yeah, so we output basically I don't know but if I am finding out the value of the current so I could find I could write it as IR I times capital R so I could have over here in RD plus R VI minus VB over RD plus R yes why because V naught is equal to IR yes yes so i has got this value so v naught would be what v naught would be i times r so you could have it like this then v naught is i times r so you could write it like this that v i minus v b divided by r d plus r times the value of r which you could further split as v i upon r d plus r into r minus v b into R divided by RD plus R further you could say the resistance of the diode is quite smaller than the external resistance so you could say that V naught is equal to VIR times divided by R minus barrier potential R times R so this cancels out you get your v naught to be equal to input value minus the barrier potential this is how you prove it similarly if you say if you say again that the barrier potential is quite less than the input voltage you could further assume that v output is directly equal to v input so this was what i needed to tell you if you use a complete practical model you can do this in the uh, in the what uh, in your full wave rectifier as well for yourself fine this is the complete exact this is the second level exactness and this is the first so the models that we use the diode model so the ideal model has the least accuracy over this we have the constant voltage drop model out of this you have the piecewise linear model and the non-linear that is the exact is the most accurate this is the accuracy now let's say we move on to the example example number is example number is 2.16 example 2.16 you have a half wave rectifier circuit which is like this over here you have the output voltage plus to minus is where plus to minus output is over here this is a 2 kilo ohms resistor this is a this is a source is applied over here which is sinusoid having a maximum value 20 
Okay, so so what do we do? What is required? The required is of course the output waveform. So you can uh, directly tell from here if I consider the idea diode model. So uh, 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 this would just be it's reverse in the reverse direction. So the positive is clipped and the negative would be. So you can just directly draw it as well. If this is omega t axis, if this is my output axis, not drawing it directly, I'm not drawing it directly. First, the positive half cycle. This is plus, this is minus. Have a look. It's reverse biasing the diode. No current is flowing through the circuit. The output is zero. Till we are till t by two point. Now what happens when this becomes negative? This becomes positive. Let's say for the negative half cycle, what happens is because forward biased, V output becomes equal to V input. V output is zero when from zero to t by 2 yes 0 to t by 2 and then v naught is equal to v input when t by 2 to t so which means this is your output waveform this is your overall output waveform now also the dc value is asked so you know that the dc value for a half wave rectifier is what the average value v naught average which is equal to vdc this is 0.368 or the maximum value of output the maximum value of output is this uh, it's 20 right it's 20 so we would have to consider a negative value or a positive value yes of course a negative value so 0.318 times the maximum value which is negative in this case so you put a negative 20 over here what do you get uh, 0.368 times negative 20 implies what that your vdc is equal to 6.36 volts so you have a negative 6.36 uh, volts this is your vdc the dc level will lie somewhere over here fine now we have another part for the same question and what is that repeat part a if the ideal diode is replaced by a silicon diode so what would we have for the silicon diode this peak this is 20 volts right so for silicon for silicon it would get to 19.3 volts as the binary potential is 0.7 right and similarly for the v average you would have what v average would be 0.368 times v m minus uh, v b so put the values over here v m is 20 volts v b is 0.7 volts for silicon the average that you get is a negative uh, 6.14 volts negative 6.14 volts which has a minute difference has a minute difference now in another part it is asked if we uh, if the vm is let's suppose raised to 200 volts this is part b let's say part b so then calculate these things so if it's if it's reached to, to 200 volts so vdc would be equal to 0.368 times 200 for ideal diode and VDC would be equal to 0.368 times 200 minus 0 0.7 uh, of, uh, and, and, and what is this equal to? Uh, this is equal to negative 63.6 volts and this is equal to negative 63.38 volts. So this is now a very minute difference this is for ideal diode this is for silicon diode so these sort of minor differences are generally ignored on the oscilloscope of course you could not when you're given a graph you could not differentiate between 63.38 and 63.6 maybe you can i cannot so this is the first example let's say moving on to the next example which is on the full wave rectifier on a bridge circuit example 2.17 and let me draw it from the book the circuit is given the input is applied across the terminals you have two diodes uh, one diode is connected in this way the other diode is connected in this way we have a resistor over here and similarly we have resistor over here and also over here and this is the plus minus v input is like this these are all two kilo ohms resistors two kilo ohms resistor two kilo ohm resistor 
Okay, now what do we have to do is determine the output we have formed for the network and calculate the output DC level and the PIV rating. So the input is given which is a sinusoidal having a maximum value of 10 volts. Maximum value Vm is equal to 10 volts. So have a look let's say for the positive half cycle first plus, plus this would be reverse bias this would be forward biased. So the current has to come here and then it would distribute into the two branches plus minus V0 is this one. Right so have a look what could I do a triangle is this one. So I could just replace it by two in series and in parallel with another which means like this. I could replace this triangle wave form by this triangle shape by this thing. So overall over here a plus minus V input is applied, a plus minus V output over here is unknown. So you use the voltage divider rule, these are all 2 kilo ohm resistors. The voltage divider rule says what? That this V output, this would be equal to the overall applied input, V input times the resistor through which you are uh, finding the uh, the, 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 the value and divide by some of the other resistors. So this would be equal to 2 times V input divided by 4 and let, uh, letting considering the maximum value so the maximum value over here is 10 so 10 choose are 20 20 divided by 4 is a 5 volts so the output would be a 5 volts fine yes similarly for the negative half cycle what would happen for the negative half cycle this diode would conduct and again the same thing we have the same thing the same output the polarities you know very well output would be again equal to 5 volts this is for the positive cycle and also for the negative cycle it would be 5 volts so if I draw it over here so if this is my T axis this is my output axis so this would be like this this is T by 2 this is T the maximum value this is 5 volts this considering ideal diodes if you have the barrier potential involved 5 minus 0.3 for germanium 5 minus 0.7 for silicon you could do whatever you like to do the DC value would be what VDC VDC is 0.368 times V maximum output the maximum output voltage is 5 volts and this value comes out to be 3.18 volts 3.18 volts which would lie somewhere over here let's say this is your V DC level 3.18 volts the next thing that is asked is the PIV rating of the uh, of the world uh, of this so the PIV rating is what it's the maximum voltage that can be applied in the reverse bias state so the maximum voltage for a bridge circuit PIV is what for a bridge circuit it's equal to VM and VM the output voltage and this VM is basically representing the output voltage okay so and, and in this case we have the output voltage of 5 volts of maximum so which means this is what it could withstand when it is in the reverse bias state for if this is diode 1 this is diode 2 so the first for the positive half cycle diode 2 is conducting for the negative half cycle diode 1 is conducting so which means PIV for diode 1 is 5 volts in the positive cycle PIV for diode 2 uh, diode 1 is off in the first uh, in the first cycle right so PIV is 5 volt for the diode first in the positive cycle and is 5 volt for diode 2 in the second cycle and that is it so that is it about it these were some simpler book examples the main idea that I wanted to make this video was for this if we consider a practical diode right these are the circuit for practical diodes whereas if you have the ideal diode so we have done a far more greater discussion over that so that is it about today that's all about the videos uh, i'll see in the next video with the topic of clippers so i'm sorry if i have had a little speed i've had a greater speed because i have to go to the university to attend my class yes my ms class uh, of high voltage power transmission so anyways i recorded the, the previous video in the morning the previous not the before that uh, the full wave rectifier bridge network I recorded in the morning then I went to university for the class of research, research methodology 
that teacher was absent i came back i recorded another video of the center tape transformer then it's friday today so i had to attend the friday prayers i there i had to spend some time and then i came back and now i recorded this example video and now i'm going to go to attend another class of high voltage transmission system anyway that was just just to have a little gossip with you guys to let you know the busy timetable nowadays anyway see you in the next video very soon inshallah till then take care of yourself everyone around you do remember me in your prayers goodbye